Dwayne here, phoenixstackrider.com. Going to try to uh, fix the mainspring on this little typewriter. Got it in and uh, just won't hold tension. And I think the uh, spring steel is broken inside the mainspring. So we're going to hop to this real quick and see if we can uh, replace it real without too much time involved let's see just what I can do here I've already got this unscrewed from the case so it comes out of here pretty easy Mainspring is down in this corner, it's right here, and uh, it is sprung, so the cord is still good, There's a small little cable, but we need to take this off and then take it apart, so let's unscrew this real quick, just mounts. One nut right here. You take that nut off, that mainspring will just pop right out of there. there it goes. But this is the tricky part. There's the nut. So. And then this will separate. There we go. This core will come out the center here. It's got a slot for the corresponding slot there. Where it's broken though is this outer ring, which is lucky because if it broke somewhere in the middle here or you know you wouldn't have enough material to reuse it. This one it looks like about a half a loop on the outside is broken. You can it's really hard to see. But if you look carefully you can see the the end right here. Circle around and you can find the other piece, but okay, I'm just gonna I'm going to see if I can pop this. Got to take this ring out. Get the camera focused. So we're just going to carefully remove this without it cutting me. Get out of here. Oh, shh. Whoa. Whoa. It's getting away on me. Well, probably should have took better precautions as far as wearing some gloves, maybe, or something, but. But it's about out of there. Okay. So it is sprung. The main spring is sprung. Let's get it straightened out here. So this little loop needs to go inside here like that. There it goes. Let's take this cord out of there. Okay. So there it is, and there's the piece that broke here.
Okay, so that's the broken piece right here. So we're just going to shorten it. So what we need to do is put a slot in there like that one. Right in that spring steel. And then rewind it. And I don't you know, I don't know why it would have it broke. Who knows? I don't know. Maybe it I really don't know. I'd just be guessing. So next trick is to make that little hole right here, which is can be a challenge. I'm gonna to try to uh I'll try to get it done with a Dremel tool. Boy, that's pretty small. That is pretty small. But, let me give it a shot here. Maybe it can be, you know, it can be longer than this hole, so, because the disc is a little big. Okay, so let's see if it's a lot, it's a lot longer than that one, but I think as far as it catching on that piece, it doesn't really matter. comes the tricky part. Winding this spring back in here is going to be tricky, tricky, but all you got to do is start feeding it in. Yeah, that's in there. Okay, let me just rope in the way. 
try to take this rope off, but it's uh, it's kind of a permanent. Not done one of these in a long time. That's not going too bad. Alright. Almost there. There we go. Look at that. piece looks good up here so this piece will come through the center and line up with that slot Back on, she clip back on. Okay. Test it. I remember which way it turns. Okay, so I think it. Should turn this way to tighten it up. Yeah. Feels good. All right, let's throw it back in the machine. Let's just see just how quick I can get this done. That's got to be pretty tight. Okay. Okay. So now, let's see what I want to do. All right, let's pop it down this way.
and try to decide which is to pull the string through first or I think I'm gonna pull the string through first. Again got my retractable draw band thing jigger. Takes a very strange pathway. Right. No, it's not gonna. It's not gonna latch up to my little hook here. Make a little, make a little loop and connect it up here with my tool. Okay. So I'll pull that all the way through, and that latches right in the little notch in the frame right here. Just pretty cheap model here. So that just latches in that right there. So all I need to do now is wind the spring. You can see I've got that on the wrong side of this spring. Move that, okay. So now all I gotta do is wind this. And I'm just going to wind it. There's one turn. Yep. So that's one turn. Right there, see. I'm just going to... Oops. Gonna be a little tricky to spring this pretty. I feel like it wants to turn. Hmm. Look in here real quick. Alright, let's see what's going on here. So... It wants to wind this way, but... Well, let's see what's happening here.
Okay. <laughs> this is the problem. This. Goes like this. I definitely had it. Definitely had it backwards here. Got it. <clears throat> okay. So this goes on now. All right. I was just a little confused. Got it. Got it. Okay. Oops. Pinched the wire there. Okay, ready to wind. I definitely had it upside down. Now we're going to wind it like this. Come on. Three. up over here okay so she's, she's got tension I don't know if she's got enough but oh yeah it feels pretty good I wouldn't mind going one more turn with this. So I'm going to go one more turn. Oh, 
So there. Tight again. Okay, so that's six full turns. And I'm going to call that. All that good for now. Feels pretty good now. All right, that's the mainspring reconstruction and draw band install on a cheap little. Typewriter. It's got to be in the case to work, it seems like. Connect the spring back up here. I took off. There we go. It might work, might work a little better. Alright, Phoenix Typewriter, good day.